Welcome to Backstage with Kennedy This little show will be your remedy From Toronto spanning across the sea Cool people, lots of laughs This is your favorite podcast Hello and welcome. My name is Kennedy from the Backstage with Kennedy podcast. I got a cool guest today, a fellow Canadian from Quebec City. I got Sam from Sam and the Terrible News. Um, really cool band. I dove into them quite recently, actually. Um, and you know what? Two for two on these singles right now. Really, really enjoying them. Um, it's got like a little bit of like a pop punk feel to it, um, but like super, super catchy. Really, the stuff that I listen to on a regular day basis, truly. So, how are you doing today, Sam? What's up, bro? Hey, really good. Thanks for having me, man. Good, man. I, I'm glad to glad that you could join me. Um, yeah, so, so how have you been holding up with everything going on in the world right now? Uh, not so bad, actually. Um, I have the chance to be able to work from home, so I have not been impacted too much on a financial uh, aspect. So. Not too bad. I hope it's going to end soon, though, but uh, hopefully we're going to have a cool summer. That's what I hope. Absolutely, man. We need that, that nice summer, a little bit of cool weather, shows. That's what we need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're two for two, as I said, on uh, singles, man. Like Both your singles have been absolutely awesome. Um, what really created this sound that you guys were going for is this what you really were inspired to growing up or is this just something that you said you know what i do want to branch out and try this as well uh first of all thanks for the the good words yeah, no worries, um, man. yeah actually that was pretty much the sound i was looking for um i started this project i started to write songs for this project about two years ago uh i had no specific idea of what i wanted to do i wanted to do kind of punk rock uh, kind of similar to Green Day, you meet world kind of sound. Mm -hmm. uh, started the writing. I did some test songs in the beginning just to find uh, a sound I'm comfortable with. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it, it started from there. Actually, I uh, wrote a couple of songs and then uh, find some guys to play with me uh, as a band. I wanted to, to, to play with a band, actually. Yeah. And I um, gathered some of my uh, old friends uh, like longtime friends, and uh, the goal with that project is uh, to uh, play some rock music and have fun with uh, with the, my uh, good old friends. I, I think you can tell that in the sound. There is a very um, like even even talkers is a little bit like the idea behind the song is a little bit on like the real dark side of things, like how everybody's in their phones and stuff like that. But at the same time, you made it fun. <laughs> you know yeah, and, exactly. and I, I can feel that when you say you know you're looking for that fun vibe for sure for sure yeah, absolutely absolutely i want to have a kind of a, a party vibe that's the the thing a fun vibe uh sometimes i talk about subjects that are aren't that fun though but yeah. the music and the feel make it fun actually. exactly exactly so um you you mentioned like i i looked over your like facebook uh like about as for the band and one thing that caught my eye was you said you're a little bit of a, a mix somewhere in between uh, Green Day and Tom Petty. Man, I had the pleasure of seeing Tom Petty before he passed. Right. Um, but one of the best stage performers I've ever seen. Um, do you kind of use some of that idea when you're on stage? Like, are you a, like a pretty outgoing stage guy? Or are you more like one of the hang back uh, front men? I would say I'm pretty uh, energetic on stage. Um, I love to give a show, you know, not mm -hmm. being too static on stage. I, I want to uh, communicate with the crowd. I want to have fun with the crowd. Uh, and yeah, Tom Petty is, uh, I'm a big fan. I never had the chance to see him live though, but uh, yeah, pretty lucky you you had the chance to uh, see him before he, he passed away. Um, yeah, for the songs that are currently online, you can not really see the uh, Tom Petty um, inspiration, but in some of the other of our songs, you uh, can hear a couple of things uh, that sound that are similar to uh, to Tom Petty sound. Absolutely, I, I, I dig that. I dig that. So yeah, you got a, a full length coming out in the summer. Um, can you tell people a little bit more about that? Uh, what to expect? Um, if there's like a, an approximate release date on that, 
Um, and uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Sure, uh, absolutely. So it's going to be actually an uh, an EP album, a six songs uh, EP album. Sweet. Um, it's going to uh, the, the name of the album is going to be Face Eight. So um, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, how could I describe? It's uh, if you like the two first songs we released, you're going to like the rest of the album. I figure uh, we got. Um, songs that are a little bit slower probably the, the song that sounds a, 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 a more like yeah, Tom Petty as I said mm -hmm. uh, we got some other songs that are more raw more uh, punk uh, but it, there's a the common thread is pretty similar to each song you can recognize our sound through uh, through all the album absolutely so um, when you were coming up um, what bands did you really look up to um Actually, my it's it's pretty uh, large inspirations. Actually, my, my favorite band of all time is Green Day. Uh, okay. But uh, you know, I've listened a lot to Jimmy Eat World, as I mentioned previously. Uh, I'm also a huge fan of you know the old rock bands such as uh, the Beatles, uh, the Beach Boys. I'm uh, yeah. I'm listening to a lot of Beach Boys these days. I don't know if it makes me feel good. <laughs> it's a vibe, <laughs> For, man. It's a yeah, vibe. Exactly. exactly. Um, and my father made me listen to a lot of uh, music at an early young age, and I still listen a lot to uh, a lot of these uh, these bands he made me listen to when I was younger. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a mix of all that. Um, Foo Fighters a little bit as well. Um, yeah, and the, the the Green Day sound I was looking for is the more the uh, the nineties uh, Green Day's album. Okay, uh, Insomniac is my favorite one classics uh yeah so that's it so um was it your father who like inspired you to get into music was it through him showing you music and stuff or was there a different person who may have had a lot of like push towards you being like you know what i want to pursue this i want to go all in very good question um of course my father is the one who was responsible for um uh, i remember i was like three four years old and my father was putting uh music in the in the living room very very loud and we were dancing in the living room there was always music at home uh so my ears began to get into a music the um so he's the he's, he's mostly responsible of that he's not a musician though but uh he's uh, uh, a guy who listens to a lot of music he's always uh uh He's up to date on music. He always listens to new stuff coming out. Uh, so is probably the reason why. Also, some friends in the uh, in high school uh, when we uh, started, I started to play music with some other uh, uh, with some friends uh, back then. Um, started to play uh, music at around 16, 17. We played uh, in the uh, in basement of uh, uh, some of my friends' basement, and it was uh, just fun. It started from there, actually. Yeah. Very cool. So, um, obviously, I, I like to bring this one up because there's a lot of venues that are struggling right now. Um, I brought it up in past episodes as well, for sure. But there's a lot of venues that are struggling right now with uh, because of the pandemic, you know, being closed for like a year. Um, is there a venue that sticks out to you that's got a soft spot in your heart that you're like, you know what? that's my favorite venue. And do you have a story to go with that venue? Whether it was a sick show you saw, something funny that happened at that show, uh, anything like that? Very good question. Uh, uh, here in Quebec City, there is a small venue called uh, Lanti, A-N-T-I, the Anti. I don't know if you pronounce it in there. You know what? <laughs> a couple of people have said that, man. That's that's a spot. I got to check yeah, it it's, out. It's a small venue, but there's uh, it's full of spirit, man. I don't know. It's a uh, community there is really really nice uh the, the owner of that venue is awesome so i have that venue will always have a special place in my heart uh but maybe for a bigger venue i really uh love the um it's called the imperial in quebec city as well mm -hmm. uh really cool place it's a little bigger venue it's also very cool um so yeah that would be it very nice very nice um so yeah what I'm trying to think. Um, how has the process been of creating this album being far apart from each other? Like, I know that a lot of bands are struggling to get that content out right now because of that. And you are a fresh band. Like, you guys are pretty new. So how has that process been of, like, hey, getting the music out, 
doing all kinds of promo and stuff like that like that's probably pretty difficult i i can imagine uh yeah of course of course uh actually for the uh the creation the music creation i do it myself uh so i write the songs i record them i demo them actually mm -hmm. send them to the guys guys learn the songs on the on the on the on their on their own and um so actually we 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 have a, a jam space where we practice mm -hmm. uh, of course uh, we <laughs> have not practiced in a in a, uh, since uh, September, I, I guess. So uh, we uh, can't wait to <laughs> get back to it. Um, but for the promo, actually, you know, with the, uh, the uh, social medias and all that, uh, it's uh, it's a chance we have that in 2021, mostly mm -hmm. uh, this year. So uh, we've been able to do some promotion through the web, of course, and uh, our uh, our label uh, helped us out with this. Of course, it's uh, Artifice. That's the mm -hmm. name of the label. It's a label from uh, the Quebec province. So, uh, yeah, but for the music itself, I, I do it myself. I write the songs. Uh, I write a lot of songs, actually. It's not all good, but I write songs as they come to my mind. And the guys tell me if they like or not, and we, uh, we do some adjustments according to that afterwards. So you must be a very talented, um, like, multi-dimensional musician. If you're able to, like... Be like you know what i'm just going to send this demo the drum is over i'm going to send this bass uh bass demo over you know what i mean like the fact that you can play several different instruments at that level is very good i've heard the music it's fantastic dude so um Thanks. yeah man like the, it, did you always play all these instruments or did you kind of pick it up as in the last like couple of years like how'd that go uh for of course for the guitar i play guitar since a long time ago i would say about uh more than 20 years uh, for the bass of course once you play guitar you can play bass with a little practice of course so mm -hmm. it's it's doable for the drums to be honest with you i don't play drums at all but uh, you know with the uh the uh the, the, the music recording programs these days you can uh, assemble a drum so uh, just for the demo it's, it's it's perfectly fine and my drummer then um learned the the, the drum the drum feels the best he can he can add some of his own as well on the on the drum fields and there's no problem that's wicked i've actually never heard uh of someone who's like doing like a premix or like doing something like that i've never seen heard somebody do that where they put the drums in like through the computer first and then a drummer matches it that's that's really interesting actually that's yeah, really cool it's only for the demo, actually. Yeah. Of course, uh, in studio it's different, but it's only to have uh, the song uh, recorded somewhere so we can uh, uh, listen to it. And if some ideas comes to mind afterwards, we 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 have it for the real studio session after. You know. That's wicked. I mean, we talk we're talking all this crap about uh, people on their phones and social media and stuff, but online worked out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Well, um, yeah, brother. Where can people find uh, find your music? Uh, where are what are your social media handles? Where can people find you guys? Of course, we're uh, we have a Facebook, uh, Sam and the Terrible News. We have Instagram as well. Uh, we're planning on uh, getting a TikTok. We're not sure about that yet, but it seems Dude, very popular. It's it's wicked. Like a yeah? hundred percent, get a TikTok. Like I personally don't really like TikTok or the culture behind TikTok, but it's, it is a perfect thing. If you just got a catchy tune, you want to throw it up there. Um, dude, I posted an interview and I got like almost a thousand views on it already. That's insane. And yeah, I, exactly. It's three days ago. I'm like, that doesn't happen. I have a friend who has like over a mil just doing one guitar loop. Like what? <laughs> no, exactly. And at the end of the day, the goal is to, to reach as much people as possible. So yeah. yeah, I'm thinking about it. I discussed that with the, the boys. They're not against the idea. So we might have a TikTok shortly, but for now we have the, uh, the Instagram and uh, the, the Facebook, of course. And um, for the songs, actually it's available on all the uh, streaming platforms. So Spotify, Deezer, uh, Apple Music, maybe i forgot a few on youtube as well it's there um yeah but all that stuff perfect i i appreciate it man i like to keep these uh these episodes nice short and sweet uh i truly appreciate you coming on the podcast sam thanks a ton man thanks for taking the time out of your day and thanks for um, having me 
it, it'll be nice to see your face when the world opens up and uh whether you come to toronto or i'm out in quebec we'll we'll link up brother of course i'll give you a shout and we have a new uh a new single coming out uh on uh may 14th so it's next week uh title is going to be wait it's a brand new song and the um our uh, ep face a is going to be released i believe it's august 20th the summer so in a few months can't wait just drop some bombs man i love that i love that <laughs> Appreciate it, brother. You have a good one. All right, guys, everybody who's right. listening, please check out Sam and the Terrible News. Uh, they, they rock, man. Super catchy stuff if you want to get in a good mood. All right. Thanks, brother. Right. Thanks, Ken. Bye. Buns, check. Hot dogs, mustard, check. Ketchup. Hot stuff. Mm, nah. Where's the hot stuff? I, I didn't bring it. Good with the hot stuff. Very good with the hot stuff.